32% of teens say they first viewed porn when they were 11 years old or younger. I don't think anyone finds it comfortable to speak to their child about um, you know, the, the sex talk, uh, but you need to remember this. If you don't talk to your child, then a pornographer will first, and you don't want them to speak to them first. So the idea of approaching this discussion with the things that really matter, safety, respect, a sense of entitlement over your space and your body, these conversations can be had in a way that doesn't necessarily feel that it's just confined to this one area. So for example, opening up a conversation about how do you respond if someone makes you feel uncomfortable? How do you ask someone to stop doing something that makes you feel uncomfortable? How do you say no to somebody that you want to please because you really like them? So ensuring that you have these conversations in a wider way and then narrowing down to the specifics will often make it easier. I often say to parents, kind of clock with the kids that, you know what, this is gonna feel awkward, but it's something that's really important because so many times what you're gonna come across online or maybe even what, kids the same age are gonna tell you isn't really based in reality, right? So this is something I can share with you because I know what really matters. Make sure you clock issues around body image, issues around respect, and the ability to say no to something you don't want. It's probably gonna be one of those conversations that you're gonna have, and then there'll be questions around it. So always be open to kind of coming back to it and speaking about it. And ultimately, what you wanna give your child is a sense of entitlement over their own body, over their own relationships, and the way that they manage these.